Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I am a full-time content creator with a background in interior design, and I have been living in Pittsburgh for the past two plus years now with my fiance Skylar and our Labradoodle Indio. We are originally from the Pacific Northwest and we have been moving around quite a bit to cities like Portland, Nashville, and Pittsburgh. So that has been great for me as a full-time content creator because I've been able to create a lot of travel content for my blog TheUrbanDarling.com and my social media platforms at The Urban Darling. But I also cover content in the overall lifestyle category, so everything from fashion and home to DIY, thrifting, and more, and I cover all of that on my YouTube channel here as well. If you guys missed my last video, I will link it for you guys. It was my everyday clean makeup routine, which I had been talking about sharing with you guys for quite some time now. So definitely check that video out. And today's video is actually going to be quite similar. I'm going to be walking you through my overall skin and beauty routine and just kind of like highlighting some of my favorite products from clean skin and beauty brands. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. If you guys aren't subscribed already, please make sure that you are subscribed and that you have your notifications turned on so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new video. I upload two vlogs a week, Friday and Sunday currently with shorts in between. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with hair products. I have been loving this clean hair care brand, R & Co for about two years now. So I was actually introduced to this brand by a local hairstylist here in Pittsburgh. This is the line that she has been using in her salon, Honey Hair Co. And I was able to get a lot of their product via a PR contact. So the products I wanted to share with you guys are their heat styling spray called Grid. So this goes on before blow drying, before curling. And then I've also been using Waterfall and Mannequin, which are a styling paste. And then the Waterfall is actually a moisture and shine lotion. The Waterfall I use on my hair while it's still wet. So it's another one that kind of goes on after you shower, before you blow dry your hair, that kind of a thing. And then their styling paste I've been using more so for my bangs or if I'm trying to get like a certain look um, going with my hair, maybe I'm trying to get some volume in it, then I'll use their mannequin styling paste. And all of their products are actually vegan and cruelty-free as well. Next up for shampoo and conditioner, I have been using this set that I actually bought from Target. So this is a line that is available in Target and it is called Monday. So I've been using their smooth shampoo and conditioner for frizzy and dull hair. So you guys probably can't tell right now because my hair is in a ponytail, but I usually actually blow dry my hair overnight and then I wrap it up in a satin head wrap but I wrap it up in a bun basically so that the next morning I have natural curls and my hair is way more frizz free that way so that's kind of a hack that I've learned that works really well for my hair otherwise it is very difficult to get the frizz out of my hair so even this shampoo and conditioner set alone is not quite enough to combat my frizz but it has helped a lot with the overall moisture and texture and softness of my hair. And these are actually SLS free, paraben free, and cruelty free. So free of all of the parabens that are harmful for your hair. So I would definitely recommend this brand if you're looking for paraben free, vegan, cruelty free hair care products. And I think they were actually pretty affordable too because they do have some more expensive hair care lines that they carry at Target. R & Co is a little bit spendier as well, so I just wanted to point that out. They're definitely products that I think are a little bit more worth it, especially because you know that they're not gonna be harmful for your hair. Okay, so I have two makeup brands that I wanted to share with you guys, which I actually also shared in my makeup routine video, so you guys can head to that video if you want to learn a little bit more about my makeup routine or the products that I'm using. But the brands are Vapor Beauty, and Merit. So I don't think that there's a logo on any of their products. So here we go. This one has their little M for Merit. So these are just a couple of the products in my 
daily makeup routine. Merit is a clean, vegan, and cruelty-free minimalist makeup brand. So they focus on getting kind of like that no makeup makeup look or just like a, an overall easy makeup routine, a little bit more of a minimalist makeup routine, which I love. And I use, like I said, several of their products in my everyday makeup routine. And then Vapor Beauty is more of a natural luxury makeup brand, but they focus on clean and safe ingredients in their products. So these are their soft focus foundation and their illuminating primer, two of my favorites. I'm actually wearing them right now. And then I'm wearing my Merit Beauty blush right now and concealer. And then the blush I also use on my um, eyelid. Okay, so I have two skincare brands that I want to share with you guys both of which are also vegan, clean, and cruelty-free, free of parabens, all of that good stuff. So first up is First Aid Kit Beauty. They are actually known for specializing in skincare for sensitive skin, which my skin definitely can be. So here are just two of their products I wanted to highlight for you guys. So first up is their Ginger and Vitamin C, Ginger, Turmeric, and Vitamin C Jelly Mask which I have been using a ton lately. And what I love about it is that it actually leaves my skin looking super glowy, feeling way more moisturized. So I actually got out of the habit of doing skincare masks, like masking um, for quite a long time, longer than I'd care to say. I just, I guess I was so focused on other things and I kind of just forgot to focus on that part of my self-care routine. I'm really good at doing like yoga, meditation, all that kind of stuff I'm, I really make time for, but for some reason, my skincare was kind of going off to the wayside over the year, but I've recently been able to focus back in on caring for my skin, especially because it has gotten so dry going into the fall season. It seems like it just got cold here so quickly. It went straight into like a cold fall. So my skin has been suffering. It's been so dry. And then I kind of just realized that maybe my face masks would help and they certainly have. So do not forget to do a face mask at least once or twice a week and treat your skin. So I've really been loving this mask. It has been coming to the rescue for me this fall season. Next is their facial radiance pads. So these are actually alcohol free, safe for sensitive skin, and they help exfoliate, tone, and brighten the skin. So this is really good for after coming out of the shower, after washing your face, and it really helps to get that last bit of makeup residue and anything like icky off your face. And then the other skincare brand I wanted to share with you guys is Burst. So I was actually sent their entire line via PR, but I wanted to just highlight a few of my favorites with you guys. So first up is their Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm, which I always use, especially on days when I am doing a full makeup routine. This actually has eucalyptus oil and vitamin E in it as well, so it's extra moisturizing. And I like to combo this with my cleanser in the shower to get all of my makeup off. I also like to use their Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask in the shower as well. So you're only supposed to use this once a week, ideally at night so that's why I like to use it in the shower. It has an AHA and BHA complex and pineapple enzymes in it so you're only supposed to leave this on your face for two to three minutes before rinsing it off but it is a resurfacing mask so it really helps with dull skin that needs to be exfoliated. It also helps with dullness in the skin so I definitely noticed that whenever I use this afterwards my skin feels so much more fresh and it looks a lot more glowy and new. Okay, so I have a few clean beauty outliers I wanted to share with you guys. First up are these eye patches from Chlorine. So they are actually their smoothing and soothing eye patches with organic cornflower and hyaluronic acid to combat dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines. So here's what they look like in the packaging. I don't use these every day though because they can get expensive. So I'll only use them for like special occasions. I actually worked with them earlier this year and I have loved using them just kind of like as a 
extra self-care routine. I actually worked with them earlier this year and that's how I was introduced to their eye patches, but they're more of like a kind of like a splurge or more of a extra self-care step for me. And then last up, I wanted to share a clean and safe teeth whitening kit with you guys. So this one is by Crystal, another brand that I've worked with over the years. They also have clean deodorants, which I really love as well, but I wanted to just highlight their teeth whitening kit with you guys. I actually do need to focus on a little bit of teeth whitening, so I need to work this into my routine, but I just use it every once in a while whenever I'm feeling like my teeth are looking a little bit dull and need a little extra whitening, but I love that this is clean and safe for your teeth. I have very sensitive teeth, so normal teeth whitening products actually really kind of hurt my teeth, but this does not. This is a gentle and sulfate-free, clean, vegan formula, so you don't have to worry about that. So this is one of their kits. They have another kit that actually has like an LED device that you use on your teeth. This one is just a mouthwash and a toothpaste combo. So there's your mouthwash and there's your toothpaste combo. So it's a very easy two-step process. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys would like to see a, another video like this. I could even focus on maybe clean, cleaning ingredients or maybe just do another one focusing on more clean makeup and skincare brands so let me know what you guys would be interested in seeing i kind of just narrowed it down to a few different products a few different brands in a few different beauty categories if that makes sense so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you guys aren't subscribed already please be sure to subscribe for more content like this and don't forget to check me out on all socials at The Urban Darling and my blog, theurbandarling.com for more content as well. Also, I'll be sharing links to everything below so you guys can shop some of these products if you're interested. And I'll see if I can get some discount codes for you guys as well. If you guys know of anyone that you think would enjoy my channel, please be sure to share it with them as well. That way you guys can help me grow my YouTube channel and even just likes, comments, that kind of a thing really helps and I really appreciate that as well. But thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you guys in next week's vlogs. Bye!